Greetings, powerful, angelic warriors of the light. We are gathering and we are rising to take this world back. We take back the Eden. We return this world to the paradise it once was, but in a conscious state of what we call the new earth or heaven on earth. We had many powerful activations today. At the end of today's transmission, I have a message from the activations I have received from my condor, my queen, for the divine masculine, the divine feminine, and a powerful activation through sacred sound, through sacred frequency, which I'll leave to the very end. We have many powerful transmissions today after the sixth night of Navrati, the nights of the divine goddess, the nine nights, the council of nine is fully activated. We had a 28 megahertz resonance on the Schumann charts today. Many powerful codes coming in, frequencies from the 5D and beyond. We had an uptick in the earthquakes over 198 M1.5 or greater in the last 24 hours. Starting in the crown this morning with a 3-3 in the Alaskan Peninsula. 3-7 in Alaska. 3.9 in California, Chile in the sacred portal of the Andes Mountains, the Kundalini of Pachamama with a 3.9. So we have the 1212 code between the California and the Chile. And then off the coast of Chile, near the southern latitude in Chile, 4.3. Puerto Rico with the Atlantean energy, 3.2. Just south east of Easter Island, the sacred portal there with magnitude 6, the most powerful today in Fiji, south of Fiji Island with a 6.1, which was right on the Tropic of Capricorn, 463 kilometers depth, and then in the sacred portal where the Trinity again today was a 4.4, Hindu Kush, Afghanistan, where the Tian Shan, the Kunlun, in the Himalayan mountains merge together as the trident, the apex, pointing the way home. Oklahoma and Blackwell, a 3.3. Peru in the sacred portal of the ancient Incan empire with a 4.6, 10 kilometers depth. The 1010 portal, which is right on by the border of our sacred Ecuador. 1010 portal 221 UTC, the 1010, the first portal to my queen, the Condor. We had a 3.0 again in Puerto Rico with the Atlantean energies. Sandpoint, Alaska again in the crown, 4.6. And then in the heart of Le Moria volcano, Hawaii, 3.0, 3 kilometers depth, 33, three, the 36 and the 9. Of the Nikola Tesla codes coming in from our Venusian bro star of the light. Then the sacred portal in Guatemala 4.2, Vanuatu 5.2, and then another 4.6 south of Fiji Islands. The whole grid is lit up, the ring of fire fully activated with the scorpion energies coming in and the red fire of the heart, the heart of the lion, the courage of our angelic legion fully activated. We start today's first transmission from Isis channelings. Day six, Navrati. You alone are enough. Last night was the sixth night of Navrati 2020. Katyayani Devi is worshipped on the sixth day on Navratri. Ma Katyayani is one of the most powerful forms of Devi Durga as she is hailed as the warrior goddess. It is believed that this form of Devi Ma eliminated Mahi Shasura, evil demon. Ma Katyayani symbolizes knowledge, courage, fearlessness, righteous rage, and abundance. She rules the third eye chakra and the planet Jupiter. She is also invoked by those seeking a life partner as she ensures harmony and peace in married life. This battle of good over evil is our own inner battle of transcending our distorted patterns of beliefs and behavior. And this period of Navratis 
October 17th through the 25th, is coinciding energetically with the ripping the band-aid off the mask's wounds of the distorted feminine mother wound, both karmic and ancestral. You may be asked to bear witness to your own, others' distorted feminine aspects like backstabbing, envy, jealousy, undercutting, spewing toxic veiled negativity to intentionally causing hurt, dishonoring, and a current biggie in this new age of goddess priestess spiritualism of exhibiting a holier-than-thou faux spiritualism, spiritual snobbery and claiming spiritual supremacy, reverence, entitlement, obedience via inauthentic means powered by supreme vanity and an excessive need for glorification, appreciation, and flattery, ultimately all superficial aspects which is actually the mask worn by deep-rooted feelings of inadequacies and insecurities. This is the period where we confront these issues head-on and call them out within, without, so that they may be purified, healed, and transcended. At the third eye, we ask to be shown the truth, wisdom and lessons behind the experience, curveballs we may be currently facing, and how it is instrumental in our soul progression and imbibe the goddess values of courage, bravery, fearlessness, and independence. You alone are enough to transcend any road bumps. Ma Katyayani is one of the most worshipped forms of Durga, and it's considered a destroyer of evil. According to the legend, sage Katyayani had no offspring, and so she observed austere penance and worshipped the gods for a child. Meanwhile, the demon... Mahi Shasura was creating a lot of troubles for the gods. His oppression was increasing day by day. The gods approached Vishnu to sought a way to end Mahi Shasura. As Vishnu's behest, Shiva and Brahma joined him and then the Trinity as Vishnu, Shiva and Brahma are collectively known as emitted flames which took the form of Katyayani, a manifestation of Durga she then took birth as the daughter of sage Katyayan, as a result of which she came to be known as Katyayani. Ma Katyayani was created to end the sins being committed by the demons and was born as a fighter. She had a resplendent form with three eyes, eighteen hands, and was refulgent as a thousand suns. The gods gifted her with a lot of weapons to kill Mahi Shashura. Shiva gifted her a trident. Vishnu gave her a discus, Sudarshana chakra. Varuna gave her a conch shell, Shanka. Agni gave a dart. Vayu gave a bow. Surya gifted her a quiver. Indra gifted a thunderbolt. Kubera gave her a mace. Brahma gifted her a rosary and a water pot. Kala gave her a sword and a shield and Vishra Karma gave her a battle axe and many other weapons, and her vehicle is a lion. Thus armed, Ma Katyayani proceeded towards Vindhya Mountains, where Mahi Shashura lived. There is an interesting story on the birth of Mahi Shashura. His father, Ramba, was the king of demons, Ashuras. He once fell in love with the princess, Mahishi, who was cursed to be a water buffalo. Mahisha is the Sanskrit word for buffalo. Mahishasura was born out of the union of Ramba and Mahishi. Due to his lineage, he was able to change form between an Asura and a buffalo. A fierce battle took place between Ma Katyayani and Mahishasura. She defeated him and cut off his head with a sword. The slaying of Mahi Shasura is celebrated as Durga Puja in many parts of India. She is also named as Mahi Shasura Mardini, the one who killed the Mahi Shasura. Be in light, in grace, isischannelings.wordpress.com Today from Divine Sister of the Light, Aurora Ray. Who is the goddess and why does this planet need the union of gods and goddesses to be the conscious creator of the new golden earth. A goddess knows her strength. She's anchored in her truth. She has channeled her experiences, good and bad alike, and transformed them into wisdom. 
She can guide you from the dark to light, and sometimes she will guide you into the depths of your own darkness, so you can bring it to light, heal, transmute, and evolve. She is a warrior of light. Unafraid, she walks the earth, and every step she takes along the way is a blessing for this planet. All life is created in her sacred womb. It is she who breathes life into existence. If you are blessed to have her goddess energy touch your life, she will transform you forever. As the saying goes, be aware of what you are wishing for. A man who has fully embodied divine masculine energy yearns for union with his goddess. But a man who has yet to make contact with his higher self will run from her. When you have reached the light, she will be your blessing. But when you are still in darkness, she will terrify you as she will inevitably force you out of your comfort zone. He has to make sure that he's ready for her. She will shower his life with magic. Her presence alone will challenge his mind and heart to enter uncharted territories. It is in the space where his conscious awareness is tested by the universe, and it is here where his most profound transformation begins. If he is not afraid of her power, if he is not intimidated by how unapologetically real she is, you cannot love her half-heartedly. She will know and not fall for it. She does not submit or acquiesce to a less than sacred, true, and healing relationship. Her divine feminine wisdom knows that this planet needs her energy to thrive, and she will not sacrifice any of it to a man with limited conscious awareness. But she will worship a God who has done the inner work and is ready for a divine union. This planet needs the union of gods and goddesses to be the conscious creators of new earth. The old earth, too, is once created by gods and goddesses. Only when you are in touch with your own soul can you form a sacred union. Mutual honor, freedom, trust, loyalty, authenticity, and integrity are the building blocks for romantic relationships of new earth. All of this you must first find and cultivate within yourself to be ready for it. Separating Jesus and Mary is to separate the cross. This is the meaning of Christ consciousness, the wisdom that males and females are equals who belong to each other. The old world has been ruled by harsh male energy for far too long. Over time, females have been forced to be more and more like men, and ultimately men have become suspicious of females. It is time for women to be females again, nourishing, peaceful, compassionate, supportive creatures of unconditional love. And men must be true again comforting, caring, building, in touch with their masculine strength. Come together in love. Evolve from trickery, manipulation, jealousy, and games. Learn to be vulnerable, regardless of your gender. Begin by becoming a mate to your own soul. This is the first step before you can find and unite with your soulmate. Ego, fear, brought us here. Love takes us to the next level. Separation is fear. Fear is an illusion. Love means unity, oneness, harmony. When will you wake up and surrender to love? That will be your moment of truth. The moment you acknowledge your own goddess within, regardless of your gender, fall in love with her, and breathe life into your own existence. Decide to acknowledge, honor, and worship the goddess within now. Will it, speak it, and be ready for the shift. Understand that she gave you the greatest gift of all, your life. The masculine energy carries the frequency of light, which is information. The feminine energy carries the frequency of love, which is creation. Love is the only reality. Herein lies the power of all creation. Love creates life based on the information provided. Choose love. Choose love. This life is nothing but a burden without love. From Rumi. Beloved beings of light, in that transmission from Aurora Ray, I give full testimony and witness, I bear witness to the truth of these statements. Now that I am in divine union with my queen, my sacred condor, I know and speak from experience and gnosis of what it is to be one with my divine feminine, my goddess, my queen, my everything. And know in this, just hearing the frequency coming from my voice that you will be activated for your divine union if you are not currently in that union very soon your divine counterpart will be with you in this timeline in this now to assist you to uplift each other 
to the holiest of holies, to the heavenly temple, to the kingdom of heaven within and without. And you, beloved one, will experience miracles every day. For as I look into the eyes of my condor, the whole world disappears, and I am lifted to the most sacred temple in divine union and in divine grace with the bliss, the peace, the harmony that is the kingdom of heaven within is fully activated in myself, here now, in this body, where I always am. Today from Divine Sister of the Light, Judith Kusel. A whole new world with endless possibilities, endless opportunities, endless exploration and existence is opening for all of us in the higher dimensional state. We are embarking on totally new and much higher dimensional territory, and therein lies the wonder of it all. The more I see what is unfolding and experiencing this, the more I am realizing that we are stepping into the unformed, the unlimited, the new creation, yet as co-creators. Imagine with every single moment being fully present, we can now explore, create, manifest into form and being, and with it, open ourselves to infinite new possibilities of life and expression thereof as one. A miracle is happening right here and now. We are freed. We are totally freed to create a totally new life and new beginnings. There is nothing stopping us or hindering us except what we perceive stands in our way or where we do not choose to transcend that by living in a much higher frequency band which the lower cannot access anymore. The key to this indeed lies within yourself. You have the key to unlock the higher dimensional state and tune into the higher dimensional state. There, right within you, the decoder is in fact your own higher soul self when you tune in and allow yourself to be raised to the upper levels, the upper dimensional state, the upper levels of divinity. What an amazing time to be alive on planet Earth as our whole bodily systems are being recreated and we are adopting a much higher frequency body and form, while at the very same time, the earth beneath our feet has already shifted into the fifth and is accelerating into the seventh. And it's all happening right here and right now. My heart and soul are overflowing with awe and wonder. This is a totally new world in creation. JudithKusel.com and from Divine Sister of the Light, Carolyn, Servant of Yahweh. 1010 Happy Scorpio Season The Most High is here today with His Sword of Truth, delivering judgments. These judgments are over selfish behaviors that are a me rather than a we mindset and action towards you. This is freedom to fly for the 144. Justice is here for the brides and the bridegrooms of Christ for the union of the beloveds. This is bringing your union blessings of ending division between you. Your light column and energy bodies are being grounded and rooted, so you are anchored to fly, 1221. Remain calm, centered, and present here on Gaia as the justice is balanced and the division is neutralized. Your beloved is on the path home to you. They are being guided and protected by the Holy Spirit as they walk away from serving the third-party Luciferian agenda and ending behavior patterns of Jezebel spirit for good. Know that you both are being held and protected and carried home to rapture now. Today is a huge turning point. Ascension is happening very quickly now that we have all greater levels of freedom. Amen. Thank you, God, for delivering us from evil and fulfilling our covenant. Amen. All praise to the Most High. More confirmation that the juxtaposition is over. Glory be to God. Amen. We have been clearing this final layer of separation since June 2020. All is done and complete. We are moving into being one whole flame with Creator now. This is your destined timeline. You and your beloved are both ascending and merging as one whole grail cup. The Divine Masculine Christ are fully becoming their Lion of Judah template now. The last bits of the narcissistic entity is being removed out of their flesh for good. This is prophecy fulfilled. Amen. Entitlement in the Divine Masculine is no more. This is the ascended version of the Lamb. 
the Christ, sovereign and free of all crucifixion for good. Amen. May the blood Christ purify and protect us all in our unions. Amen. All the beings of love and light in the multi-universes are here with us, ascending us into our 369 alchemical marriage and mission template as one whole heart. Amen. They are guiding us over the threshold to receive our birthrights of holy grail matrimony, marriages and union in the flesh. Amen. All is one under God, the Most High, Prime Source Creator. We are protected as the spellwork that kept things hidden, that kept you separated, and kept you suppressed and unwell, are transmuting from your flesh now. In Jesus' name, Amen. You are being rewarded as a warrior bride and bridegroom of Yahweh today. Your covenant proposal is being offered and rewarded to you from the Most High God. Alleluia. Amen. Your treasures await, beloveds. And today, from Twin Light Tarot, Divine Sister of the Light, be strong. Your mission is heavy. You can do it. Do not crack under the weight. Get help if needed. Let emotion flow. Don't hold on to it. Be an observer to it and let it go. Do not judge yourself. Embrace your complexity. Then breathe. Choose peace. Quiet the mind. Come back to center in this moment. You're safe and loved. You're a powerful being, pulling complicated parts of yourself back in, becoming the strongest, integrated whole you've ever been. Sorcerer, let spirit be your guide. I ask for messages for divine feminines. Divine masculine came through. The sorcerer is my card for a watching, waiting, masculine energy. Younger in spirit, may be unsure of himself was clarified by the sun, page of swords, and the star. The sorcerer is watching the star, who seems to be in a world of her own. He's wanting happiness and his own healing and illumination. He's looking inside himself, the solitary hermit, and trying to see through the smoky, mirrored confusion illusion of the deeply rooted earth realm he may have entanglements with right now. It's all uncharted territory. Spirit is asking him to surrender, to allow himself to be guided. He is wishing on a star for relief and clarity. From Divine Bro Star of the Light, Ra James, Incoming Energies. We have shifted into Scorpio season. This is an amazing time to step deeper into your purpose or to explore the things you're passionate about. Everyone knows it's a spooky time of year, but it's also full of powerful energy and magic. Things may continue to get intense this week, As the ascension energies continue to stream in, we can expect these energies to continue to trigger geomagnetic storms. These solar winds are being felt as they continue to affect the Earth's magnetic field. They are also affecting our body's energetic field. These energies are changing us on a physical level. Our DNA is activating, causing our inner worlds to shift. More and more people are experiencing ascension symptoms as the collective frequency is going up. People may feel anxious, nervous, worried, jittery, dizzy, shaky, emotional, fearful, disconnected, tired, irritable, having memory issues, heart palpitations, buzzing or ringing in the ears, nausea, hot and cold flashes, sleep issues, intense dreams, aches and pains, pressure in the head or even headaches. It's important to remember that our souls chose to descend into the third dimension. This is one of the densest of physical realms. We knew these energies would help wake us up. This may be the hardest work we have ever done, but your soul knows the way, as it is now making its ascension into higher levels of consciousness. This means we are now clearing years of dense energies and baggage. October is a space where we continue to clear the old. We are continuing to go through a cleansing and purging. As we are doing this deeper healing work, our blueprints are clearing, and we are holding more light. Next week we move into Samhain, Halloween, and the second full moon of October, which will be a blue moon. That means the messages and guidance we are receiving from the other realms have never been stronger. Pay attention to your dreams. We have angels and ascended masters sending us lots of messages at this time. This is also a time of retrogrades. We should be using this space to reflect. We also have a lot of energy streaming in from the stars now. As we continue to pass through the debris of Halley's Comet, the 
Orionid meteor shower will continue to be very active from the first week of November. That means it's a great time to be manifesting or to be working with these energies. From sparksofdivinelighthealing.com Today from Astro Mama Sun and Scorpio The crumbling of the old plus major new rebirths Transformation is a journey not a destination On October 22nd, 23rd The sun, which rules our life force, vitality and energy Moves from the airy sign of Libra Over to the watery sign of Scorpio Scorpio the 8th Zodiac sign deals with shared resources, death, rebirth, power, intensity, and transformation. The sun shift into the deepest and darkest sign of the zodiac will conjure up any hidden or repressed feelings and emotions. Scorpio is anything but surface level. That is often why this sign is feared, but at the same time so respected. The sun's entry into Scorpio will demand we get hauntingly real about our darker and more repressed sides. No more holding back and wishing these deep emotions would go away. Our inner detectives will come out to play during this transit. We will be asked to dive deep within to uncover the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Secrets and hidden agendas, either from our own selves or with others, could be painfully revealed during this transit. The sun in Scorpio will demand truth, but there could be power struggles and a battle to dominate or manipulate. That, of course is the lower energies of the sign. On the higher side, the sun's entry into Scorpio will reveal our need to transform and regenerate from the deepest of levels. Hidden traumas that require sensitivity and awareness could begin to come to the surface. Scorpio energy can seem very stoic and intense. While that certainly can be the case, this water sign is actually extremely sensitive. This can be masked at times with a Scorpio native out of fear of being out of control and appearing weak. Scorpio, despite a lot of astrologers' interpretations, is one of the most caring and deeply compassionate signs of the Zodiac. It takes guts and grit to die a few deaths a day, plus come back stronger and more resilient each time. That is their lesson to us all. You don't need to fear falling. The fear isn't in the plunge, but rather the lack of follow-through to rise once more. These people can experience the most intense breakdowns possible. Their brilliance is their ability to get back up and come back ten times more determined than passionate. The sun in Scorpio is here to allow and embrace our hidden and most feared aspects of our psyches. The lesson with the sun's entry into Scorpion's den is to not run and hide but to be brave and allow. As confronting as this process can be, there is no true mastery and power without first acknowledging our darker sides. The darker side isn't to be repressed, but embraced with compassion and understanding. The sun in Scorpio wants you to be the hero, heroine of your own story. All that you need is already there. The sun in Scorpio is here to call it forth and let your ultimate healing and transformation begin. She is here to bring forth an inner power of strength and resilience. Have you faced your fears with new eyes and renewed confidence? And have you owned your own power within the light and darkness? From astromama.com and today from Gaia Portal. Cosmic delineations are made apparent. Alignments with higher beings accelerates. Sparseness is released. Abundance in all forms is recognized. Humanity wins. From GaiaPortal.wordpress.com and from the Zolkin Times, Kin 208, Yellow Cosmic Star. Cosmic is the name for the number 13. And its key words are transcend, endure, and presence. It's the last day of the Yellow Warrior wave spell. And we have all been on missions, even those who are not conscious of it. The 13th day is always tough and enduring. There's a lot to take in and process. The number 13 is powerful, but with that power comes a price. It is not unlucky, just intense. And of course, that entirely depends on what day it combines with. Today is Yellow Star, which is a symbol of beauty, art, and elegance. The cosmic star invites us to transcend beautifully or endure for art. We can all shine like stars today, but it takes effort. This is not a recipe for a laid-back, chilled-out day. Get up, go out, and see the beautiful world. We all sometimes take for granted. Transcend through the beauty of nature and fill yourself up with some beautiful vibes. The guide today is the yellow human who has great intuition 
When in the guiding position, it is showing us how we can better navigate our own path by following our natural instincts. The challenge is the white mirror, which is a symbol of reflecting truth. Don't believe everything you hear today. Take things with a grain of salt. If you are a mirror today, will be more enduring for you than the rest of us. The occult power is Red Skywalker, who is the essence of curiosity, adventure, and courage. Always the first to be out the door on an impulse. The Skywalker wants to discover and explore, and when in this position, it is magic, which he is experimenting with. Be bold, everyone. It can be fun to discover new things. The ally is the blue monkey, and so if you need a friend today, they are great fun to hang out with. Today from Divine Sister of Delight, Christina Papagiorgio, Yellow Cosmic Star, Kin 208, 23 October 2020, Fearless. Cosmic Intelligence. 2310-2020 equal 2310-22 equal 514 equal 55 equal 10 equal 1. 23. Royal Star of the Lion. Strength, Courage, Protection. 5. Change, Transformation, Freedom, Liberation. 22. Architect of Peace, Master Builder. 4. Form, Structure, Foundation, Earth. 10. Manifestation, Authority, Power. 1. New Beginnings, Original, Leader, 5-5, five, five, Liberation Portal, Kin 208 equal 10, Manifestation, Leadership, Authority, New Beginnings, an expansive day of beauty and creativity, walking through the doors to a better world. Day 13 is the final day in the Yellow Warrior Wave Spell of fearlessly questioning everything in our path with a profound intelligence, disabling an old paradigm and fully focused on forging a new path to a brave new world. Today we close this 13-day journey with Kib, our fearless yellow warrior. We hold the pure presence of fearless intelligence. Reflecting upon our place in the harmonic matrix of creation, our quest having led us back to our original divine state of harmony and elegance as part of this beautiful creation, our yellow warrior has fearlessly forged a new path to the new world, and now Lamat opens the door and beckons us to walk through. Tone of creation, cosmic is the last and final tone of creation, the highest octave. Tone 13 operates in the spiritual realm. 13 is the mystical number of the cosmic order, the goddess, in synchronic natural time. Cosmic action transcends. Power endures, essence presence. Thus today you have incredible spiritual power at your disposal, to transcend the old you, the old paradigm, the old world, and old reality. They all dissolve into the cosmic mists. We can transform them by our pure intelligent presence, translating into pure harmony and beauty. We have arrived. Add some. I am here. This is the stage of having transcended the physical, emotional, and mental realms and arriving at cosmic consciousness. So today we can be still and realize the connectedness of all things through the web of life, transcending all but the power of pure divine harmony and grace through the frequency of pure internal presence. It is time to realign with our universal presence and upgrade your consciousness through your new and expanded divine purpose in our harmonic matrix. 222 coming in. Our collective consciousness is shining today with greater harmony and beauty. We can sparkle and shine through connecting with our planetary kin through our creative expression and divine service, through creating art, through our body talk via telepathy and through our eyes, revealing the deep soul connections that we are evolving into, pure knowingness as we experience ourselves as part of the patterns of nature, full of star wisdom, remembering ourselves as the ancient and wise star beings of legend and folklore, influenced and interconnected with the movement and dances of the celestial stars. Use the portal of Lamat to call forth with sincere intention your higher universal self to merge and unite in your galactic mission to humanity. It is our deepest wisdom that we are able to influence the harmony of the spheres to greater and greater harmonic revelations, pure symphonic music to our ears. We are collectively orchestrating a new song for Nova Terra so we can dance to the rhythm of a new drum. The brave and honorable yellow warrior has now completed his quest, much stronger and wiser, and now a beautiful new adventure beckons. 
as we enter this beautiful new world filled with infinite cosmic love. Today's question is how can I focus on the infinite beauty aligning with this new harmonic matrix ascending through pure cosmic presence? As we bid adieu to Kib, the courageous yellow warrior who has guided our quest through facing our greatest fears and setting a true course to new earth, finding our true north to claim our divine destiny, the rainbow warrior comes home victorious, claiming the holy grail. Tomorrow we commence a new wave spell with Maluk, the sensitive, intuitive, feminine red moon goddess who will soften us into yielding to her universal waters, finding our pure harmonic flow in this new world we are collectively creating. And so our journey through the dream spell continues. Divine blessings for your transcendence into pure harmonic wisdom and full cosmic presence. Aho, dear ones, beauty and grace await you now. In La Kek a la Kin, Christina White, Magnetic World Bridger, Kin 66. Kin 208, Yellow Cosmic Star. The mantra, the code for today is, I endure in order to beautify. Transcending art, I seal the store of elegance. With the cosmic tone of presence, I am guided by the power of free will. 144 coming in. So on this most powerful activation day of divine presence, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're experiencing, what you're feeling, your visions, your dreams, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to this channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future uploads. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. I'd like to also thank everyone for your pledges on Patreon, your financial support, and for those donating money for my mission and work here. I would like to welcome and thank Divine Sister of the Light Susan for your pledge on Patreon. If you'd like to support my work and mission for manifesting a healing retreat and sanctuary, you can make a pledge on patreon.com forward slash prime disclosure. So for those that resonate with my work and would like to support my mission, know that for me to continue this work and to be able to fulfill my mission, the only financial support I'm getting is through Patreon and donations. I demonetize YouTube and I left my business of 17 years to come out west here to fulfill the mission of the eagle flying with the condor, which we have touched wings and we're flying high above the mountains to be able to transmit to all of you the divine union codes, the freedom codes, and the codes of abundance. So the pledges on Patreon start at $5 and you can pledge whatever you can afford, and that's a monthly pledge, which was helping me to have a roof over my head and food to eat. So I thank you all very much for your continued support. So I'll tell you all a couple stories here before I bid you all adieu. And I wanted to give a message, final message here to Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. So also I'm out here in Washington State in Clark County looking for a place to live. So if you know of anything available... Any property that's vacant or open for renting, please send me an email at habanerosun at yahoo.com. H-A-B-A-N-E-R-O, like the pepper, S-U-N, at yahoo.com. I can't access my info at Prime Disclosure email until I have a place. It's on my other computer, which is not set up right now. So if anyone sent an email, I haven't been able to get those for a few weeks now. So I'll respond. I've been getting a lot of messages on Facebook and Patreon and email, so I'm trying to keep up with everything while doing these daily transmissions, which takes me four to six hours every day to prepare, update the website, record, edit, upload. It's about a four to six hour process. And then also building my relationship with my queen, the condor, while connecting with many of you out in the field that are raising your codes. I get a lot of messages on Facebook, Patreon, emails, all these things. So I can't respond to every message and email. So I'm doing my best. My guides tell me who I need to contact every day and connect with and respond to. So 
in time if it's meant to be 2323 coming in the 55 portal so today as i was preparing for my transmission every day as i go into the stillness and into altered state and let my higher self and my guides guide me to every transmission that i need to transmit to all of you and one transmission may be for one person in this realm i never know it's irrelevant it's none of my business but i know what i need to put out every day for our great mission of manifesting the new earth so i was preparing today I heard a strange phone ringing, and I've been in the same hotel here in this powerful portal in Washington State. And with many strange and bizarre weird things happening every day, which is becoming normal for us, <laughs> this fo strange phone was ringing, which I hadn't heard, and there's this old phone sitting on the desk, and a red light was flashing, and I thought, uh-oh, here's a message from Great Spirit. So I pick up the phone... I wasn't going to answer, but I said, I better answer this. The phone, I'm sure, is ringing for a reason. And the voice of Lincoln came through the phone, and it said, The condor has left the coop. And my heart started racing for a moment as I jumped, started jumping timelines, and my old self, my old false limited self, was coming through. And this terror, being terrified of losing my queen, my condor, after 47 years of torture being away from her, now that we're finally reunited, these fears creep up, which I have to overcome and navigate through. This is part of those unprecedented territories that Divine Masculine are navigating through and this vulnerability as these fears come up. And then the voice said, you're meant to leave the hotel today, meaning I paid up till today for, to be able to stay here. So I started laughing to myself, thinking, well, that's the manager. <laughs> Which I've had discussions with just about everyone that works in this building since I've been in here. Many very interesting people, like Rajiv. Rajiv is from India. He runs the night shift. We spoke about Navrati. Navrati a couple nights ago for about a half hour. And about Sanskrit and the Durgas, many different things. And then... One of the cleaning ladies that knocked on my door the other day to see if I needed something. Also from India, Priti, P-R-I-T-I. Rajiv is R-A-J, Ra, like the son Jeev, like Jiva. Who I also spoke about Navarati, they both just happen to be Hindu, of course. Many synchronicities. So Lincoln is the name of the manager. <laughs> <laughs> which we, of course, I tell everyone about the condor and why I left Cleveland and my business of 17 years and hundreds and hundreds of friends and family to come on this mission and to be reunited with my divine goddess, my queen, my everything. And people get a kick out of the story because it, I tell people love makes you do crazy things. And most people agree. <laughs> But that's the new earth. That is the miracle of 5D. And many of you have followed me on the journey. I will be uploading a sacred ceremony for my Patreon people as an extra gift for those that are supporting me financially. I have a very powerful activation in Boynton Canyon in Sedona. I wasn't going to put it out because of the sacredness. But as a gift to my patrons, I'll release it later today. And there is a old shaman playing flute as he climbed to the top of this mesa which alone my vertigo kicked in i started spinning he said you want to come up here and join me i, I said no i'm i'm good with <laughs> i was already high up enough we were up on the mesa and then he climbed to the very top and i thought it's one brave soul there but as an o negative my whole family's o negative blood we all have vertigo most people o negative part of our deal of having the most sensitive blood type but that's part of how we're able to navigate through the unknown, through the great mystery. And as that fear came up, my false self saying, you're losing your condor. My higher self came in, my gold white eagle body saying, no, beloved, bro, star of the light. This is divine union. Your love and union with the sacred condor is eternal. So no fears. And as I ran into later in the day, Lincoln, the manager here, I said, man, you really scared the hell out of me with this telling me the condor flew the coop. I thought she left me, and he laughed and said, oh, I should have rephrased that and said, the chicken left the coop. I said, yeah, that would have been much better, you know. 
Yeah, you can't make this shift up, you know? So my message to Divine Masculine, it is time, bro star of the light, time to take action and reach out to your beloved, your divine counterpart, your condor. It's time to reunite, to take flight, to activate the deep courage, no matter what arises, no matter what fear, what conflict, internal conflict or external conflicts, we will navigate, we'll overcome our legions are with you. Our team is with you. And for the Divine Feminine, let your eagle know you are ready and that you are waiting patiently for the return, for your reconnection, because this is an eternal connection. This is nothing new, and you know it in your heart of hearts who this person is. If not, you will be activated any moment, any day now for your Divine Union, your Shakti, Shiva connection, your Yeshua, Magdalene, reunion so i'm going to end this transmission today with the mantra to activate the christ codes within so don't worry about what it's saying or the meaning it's all in the feeling the frequency the sound the resonance the synchronicity so for those who are ready for those who this is meant for take a moment now to quiet your mind to put your awareness in your heart center and feel your soul star spark of infinite light and infinite life being activated now. Each time Israel, 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 each time. Israel ish time Israel ish time Israel ish time Israel ish time Israel Nama no Monime Bhagavan Um Shivon Graksha Babaji Tayatar on Beckonze, Beckonze, Maha Beckonze, Beckonze, Runzon, Sumon, Gotte, Soha. Namaste.